It's a little bit weird. People tell us that there are angels, but you can't see them. And they're supposed to be helping us, but you can say, help me, and then nothing happens. So are they real? Yes. And they're here, but maybe not in the place that you expect, because we experience angels in our own thoughts and feelings. So your guardian angel is talking to you all the time in your heart and in your mind. And this could go by in your daily life without you even realizing it. And I'm gonna be more patient next time, so I'm sorry. That's an angel. We just haven't been able to find a babysitter. Well, you can bring the kids to our house. That's an angel. That is an angel. It's not just a nice metaphor or symbolic. Angels are real and actively with us on the level of our thoughts and feelings. They influence our emotions and our thinking with goodness and truth. Although we can't usually perceive their presence, the angels know that they are with us. They lead us and protect us. They inspire us with love and trust and clear thinking. They're even capable of paying attention to the direction our desires are taking, and they can bend and tame them toward what is good so far as we allow them to. Their influence is inherently gentle because anything otherwise would intrude on our freedom. Their presence tempers the influence of evil spirits and protects our deepest core. When we feel alone, there are ways we can consciously tune in to their presence. There's one way that very few people think angels talk to you, but it's actually a major untapped resource. We polled our audience to learn what were the ways people most often felt the presence of angels. One of those options got a lot fewer votes than the rest. The most common way people feel angels speak to them is through dreams or coincidences of numbers or signs like feathers, animals, or songs on the radio. Also, when certain people pop to mind or in memories or feelings they have and in the serendipity of people or interactions in their lives. But an unparalleled resource is the Bible. The Bible is written in such a way that the words and stories actually contain what is holy. The Bible connects us to God and opens heaven. Emanuel Swedenborg was able to observe his spirit connections while he studied the Bible and he learned that each verse communicated with a specific community of heaven, and ultimately that within the Bible, there was connection with all of heaven. So angels are always with us, and we actually can't exist without them. But does this mean that we're never really gonna be able to feel them because we're arrows in our hearts and in our minds? No, you can actually develop your ability to sense the presence of angels. Click the link at the end of this video for a custom meditation designed to help you develop the ability to perceive angelic influence so that you'll always remember that's an angel.